three ingredient cookies. Well, I'm cheating a bit because I'm not including vanilla because vanilla is optional. Mm. Now, these uh, are healthy, I would say. I would go so far as to say healthy cookies because all we are using is banana, oats, and chocolate chips. If you wanted to, you could just add raisins and cinnamon and then wow, how healthy we would be. So, two bananas. I'm actually quite sad about these bananas. Do you know why? Because I always have overripe bloody bananas. Uh, that's my oven just telling me that it's 180 degrees, 350 degrees Fahrenheit if you're in America. Um, and I'm like, oh, what am I going to do with those bananas? But these aren't as overripe as I would normally like. Typical, just because I need overripe bananas. I don't have them. So, but anyway, they're soft enough. So the riper the better because, of course, the sweeter they are and the softer they are. But these are fine. So mush them all up. Mark, you can even have these. Can I? On your healthy eating plan. Okay, so there we've got it. Two bananas. To that. I'm going to add a little splash of vanilla. You absolutely don't have to. Cinnamon would be gorgeous. I think cinna I think vanilla is nicer if you're using chocolate chips. And if you're using raisins, I would say cinnamon or ginger would be lovely. So I've got half a cup of oats. I'm going to mix that in. Meals in minutes. Now... Usually, with our meals in minutes, we just do a straight through with no edit, no nothing. So you can just see how, how you know, the, the time that we're saying is, is, is the real time. But because these are going to cook for 15 minutes, we will have a little pause. We'll have a little break. So there we go. Mixed in. Yummy, yummy, yummy. This is a great one for the kids to make, guys. Look how easy it is. And they love mushing bananas. Now... Go as crazy or as abstemious as you like with your chocolate chips. I've put about mm, 50 grams of chocolate chips. But I can, of course, add more. What do you think? Lovely. You'd love that, wouldn't you, Mark? Yeah. You'd love some raisins in that too, wouldn't yeah. you? Shall I put some in just because yeah. I love you? Raisins, nuts. Flax seeds, you could add pumpkin seeds, whatever seeds. you want. I'm just putting those in extra because he loves. I actually like flax seed. He loves them and I'm going away and he'll miss me. I'm going away for a few days, so I'll leave him some cookies. So just really simply, just gonna plop them on the baking tray, like that. Which is nice and non-stick, so I'm not even putting any grease or anything on it. Oh, that one's got a lot of raisins, Mark. That one's got your name on. It will spread a little. Let's put that one in there and hope for the best. That might all mush together and then we'll have one great big horrible ugly cookie. And it won't be very grammable, but hey, I'm willing to take that risk. In it goes, 180 degrees, 15 minutes. So let me just tell you other things that you could put into it. Like I said, flax seeds, you could add some flax seeds. Really good, really, really, really good for you. I try and put this in, in, in almost everything that my family have without knowing. So say I'm doing a soup, I put a teaspoon of flax seeds in. If I'm doing an oatmeal, a porridge, a teaspoon of flax seeds. Even in the kids' pancakes, I put it because now be warned because when you first start using flax seeds, you have to you have to sort of edge your way up because it can give you the farts. So you have to get your gut used to it. But in there are um, it are great fats. So especially if you're vegan or if you're like me, you're not really eating any oily fish. You need that. So that's a great added. As I said, cinnamon ginger vanilla raisins nuts another good thing if you're trying to get some protein into your kids every single day if we eat almonds almonds are so fantastic you could uh, stir in a couple of spoonfuls of ground almonds into that great healthy snack lovely breakfast you can have that for breakfast imagine you've got banana you've got oats 
And if you used raisins or chopped dates, lovely little breakfast, glass of milk, fantastic. So, so we'll come back. What, in 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put up a little intermission thing. Right, let's have a look. Ooh, yummy! Chocolate cookies! Don't they look yum? Yum. So, just, oop, onto your plate. You, actually, it's probably better, if I'm honest, to put them on a wire rack to let them cool. But I, did, I wanted it to look nice for the gram. Mark, you're not getting annoyed anymore with me saying the gram. Well, I've given up, like with most things. <laughs> he says I'm too old to call it the gram. I'm a sad old YouTuber. Past my prime. <laughs> well, I've not quite said that. Oh, see, because you want them to set a little bit. Oh, God, they smell so good, don't they, Mark? They smell so they chocolatey. Do. What do you think, Chi Chi? What do you think? Nice? Mmm. <laughs> there you go. Right, let them cool just for a minute. Um, so basically guys, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when we are going live because we do a live every single day where we do news and gossip and chat. We do mental health films, we do gardening films, we're gonna try them in a minute. We do uh, movie reviews, TV reviews. Just stay with us in our home for a little while, why not, every day. Yeah. So, shall we have a little go? Obviously these would be better if we left them to cool, obviously. So, this is a hot cookie, which isn't the best way. Oh, look at all that melty chocolate. Show us again. Mmm. Oh my God. That's so, it's ridiculous. Three ingredients, if we don't include the banana. <laughs> Which are? <laughs> Oats. Oats, bananas. What was that? Oats, bananas, chocolate chips, and I put in a few raisins. Don't forget, I had a couple of tablespoons of ground almonds for a bit of extra protein, and of course, um, it is a superfood. Also, flax seeds. You could put the flax seeds in here, ground ones, and nobody's going to be any the wiser. No kid is going to go, eh, what's this in my cookie? I don't like it, because they're not going to be able to taste it. So it's a stealth cookie. It's a stealth cookie. Do you want to try some? No, I don't want to. Oh, it's so nice. Sorry. I would. They're just my cup of tea. Well, I tell you what, as I'm going away, you've got my coconut, my cookie kisses. Cookie kisses? You've got cookie kisses. I like that. To keep you safe when I'm not here. Right. Would so, you, do you prefer to dip in milk or not dip in milk? How have I been married to you for 19 years and I don't know whether you like to dip your cookies I don't know how you, I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever seen you drink a glass of milk. I've never drunk a glass of milk. In your entire life? Yeah, in my life, at school. Why have we got onto this topic? I don't this know. is bizarre. Anyway, mm. thank you for your cookie kisses. They mm. look lovely, as ever. Mm. Mm. Love you. Put them on a wire rack, cool them down, or you can have them warm like I am, or boiling hot like I am. Love you. Bye, I'm missing you already.